more fake news for sure, this time from the likes of NBC. Reporter Jeff Rossin, he recently filed a story about so-called ghost guns and how criminals are getting their hands on them. Here's the claim. Ghost guns, particularly AR-15 style rifles, can be purchased online in pieces to anyone. They'll have them shipped. All you have to do is put them together and you have a working gun. It is a bogus claim. We're here to expose the many, many blatant holes in this report. First, watch a piece of it. All you have to do is go online and there are dozens of websites selling these gun kits. We buy this rifle kit and have it shipped to former ATF agent Rick Vasquez. Hey, my box came in. All the parts you need come together in the box. In fact, the part that makes it a gun even comes 80% complete. So it takes him just a couple of hours to put it together. This is now a completed semi-automatic firearm. And I'm looking on it. I mean, there are, there's no serial number. There's no marking at all that I can see. That is correct. This is untraceable. You cannot trace this firearm. To prove it works, he takes us to a gun range. It works great. And those are real bullets. It's operating like a regular semi-automatic weapon. Absolutely. It's real firearms ammunition. I'm going to tell you something right there. Watch the end of that piece. As a former news reporter, they edited that piece. He fired that gun two times in the mainstream media today. And their sensationalism, they would have unloaded that magazine if that firearm would have worked. You can see the edit in that piece when he says, oh, works great. The audacity of the mainstream media today to take a story like this and once again vilify what? Vilify the AR-15 style rifle when the media full well knows that only 2% of crimes are ever committed with any kind of a rifle. Mostly handguns are used to commit crimes. The holes in this piece are, are, are almost too much to mention in a one 10 minute segment. I will tell you this, in that ATF's shop, I noticed that he had a drill and what looked like a milling machine in the background as well. Yet they show him using a hand drill. I call no way.